Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly. I'm not going to be doing a beginning video like I've been doing. Um, I'll get back to that tomorrow. I look a hot mess. So I'm here. I want to show you guys how to draw on a piece of paper or if you're sketching, um, you know, or drawing. I have many drawing paper, uh, books that I sit and draw in. This is an envelope. This is an envelope I got in the mail and I love using this. And I'll do that in another video, but all I did was I just drew this little face and what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to add it to a background, which is very easy. So I'm just going to cut her out. That's if I put this video up after my dog's done dancing around and yeah, I'm barking. Sorry. It happens. Yo, yo. And that's the face. That's what I drew. So I'm going to cut it out <clears throat> fairly. Now, a lot of the time I won't add hair. I will just cut out. Maybe I'll do that this time just to show you. I'm just going to cut her out. You can paint her definitely before if you want. I'm just cutting around. You don't have to be perfect because, you know, we're going to do... Like I said, this is a, do I want to do that with her shoulders? No. Okay. We're just going to rock it like that. And I like to erase everything. Um, the eyes, the lips, everything before I glue it down so I can paint over it. I won't be doing it in this one, but what I am going to do is erase <clears throat> some of these lines. Those are my drawing lines. Sometimes that, that's what I do. Sometimes if I'm in the car waiting for Dave or Emily or uh, watching TV, I always have a tablet by me. Okay. That's generally it. I'm going to take some. Now, let me use Mod Podge paper because this stuff is excellent. 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 And I will turn her over. Let's see. It's an envelope, I swear. A little bit of this, a little bit of this, and then I'm just gonna. Of course, you can use white school glue. You can use um, regular Mod Podge matte. You know, you can use glossy if you're careful and don't get the gloss on the front because it's gonna be hard then to, I think I'm just gonna kind of do her neck here and I'm gonna do her a little bit off to the side. But you can put her as, you know, dead middle, whatever you want to do. And if you want a little bit of extra of anything, I'll just paint over with whatever I have left on my brush just to add a little bit of security. Security. Don't be scared. Okay. And that's what I'm going to do for her. And I'm going to just, well, you don't have to dry it with this. I'm just doing this because I am going to paint on her. All right. This is a background I did in the video prior, which I will link at the end of this video. You will see like two thumb, two thumbnails of videos of mine that you can click to check. Like I said, that's what this will be. And you also see my daughter's pretty little face. If you want to go check out her videos, you can click that and go check out uh, what she has going on her channel. All right. Okay. Now, look, you can take paint and mix it to get skin color if you choose. I have videos on doing that as well. I will not be doing that today. I will be using Light Flesh from my favorite, Folk Art. But of course, there are millions of colors, millions of brands. You do you, boo. Okay. And I'm going to find me a smaller brush. Excuse my arm. And I'm going in. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to paint. And I like to paint all over. I'm not going to. Now, you saw that I took some of that paper, uh, Mod Podge, um, and did over top of it. And like I said, you could do it with Mod Podge or whatever. And what that's going to do is seal that underneath. So if you don't want that sealed, um, you want to make sure you erase before you put that on. But I don't care because it's an art journal page. 
Now it's a little, you know, obviously there's paper under here, uh, you know, that's going to feel not thick, but it might give you a little bit of a lift that you might not want. It's going to be flat. I'm going to show you. So you see, I'm just kind of painting it around. Okay, doke. And then we're going to want that to dry. So I'm going to dry this real quick. And you can put as many, I mean, you want to just so first, you want to put as many layers as you want. It doesn't matter. And I'm not worrying about like the little bit that comes off on the edge. Because I'll put hair or something. I'm not going to worry about it too much. Uh, and acrylic paint dries so fast. It's so wonderful. How do you like these nails? What the heck? I can't because that one's not growing. This one's finally growing. What the heck is going on? I'm going to change the nail polish. That's what's going on, Cal. Okay. Eh. Let me see. I think I'm going to use some of my Distress Crayons. Now, you can use anything. You can use paint. I have my pink paint here I was going to use, but then I changed my mind. I'm going to see what these are like on that. Um, but you can use acrylic paint, watercolor paint. Um, I'm going to be doing a video on pad and pastels because you guys uh, asked. And what else? I mean, you can use whatever you have. If you have crayons, use the crayons. Markers, use markers. I got sent some Arteza, um, Arteza, Arteza. I don't, I'm not real sure. Uh, markers and paints and stuff, which I will be uh, using in a future video. They look really cool, and I'm very excited. So let's go a little darker. We'll use this color. Um, and all I'm going to do is do some hair. And I'm going to bring it down. Let's see how this works. I'll bring it down there. Same here. Now, I was going to do up here, but I don't know what I'm going to do. So for now... Let's see what this does, how this works. And remember, you're going to go on your background as well. Okay. It's a little bit of a madhouse in my home today. We had my uh, daughter's 20 seconds. We all went to dinner, kind of like birthday with the family. Yesterday, I went to Olive Garden, which I tell you what, we've been to Olive Garden like the past three or four times we've done anything because everybody loves it. It has not been bad once. And the first time I went, I got salmon, which was delicious. Second time I went, I got eggplant parm. And then last night I got eggplant parm <laughs> because I love it and nobody here will eat it. I'll make it in a minute. They won't eat it. And it wasn't gooey or mushy. Nobody would taste it. So I was like, fine, I'll eat it. They make it delicious. Emily always gets chicken parm. And Dave gets, what's this? He gets something different every time. I forget what he got. Later. Oh, he got, yesterday he got um, a pasta dish. Except it was, um, I don't know if any of you guys grew up, grew up Italian. Um, but in my Italian family, uh, my grandmother would take a chuck roast, cut it up into pieces and cook it in sauce. Um, they also have done pork chops and hard boiled eggs and all that kind of stuff. But that's the, um, I gotta, I gotta ask him what the name of it was. We had this delicious plate of pasta and it had these, the pieces of that meat, that beef, that chuck roast. Oh, tender. It was so good. So good. That's what he had. And of course I did take a bite of that. So that is, uh, but yeah, Olive Garden has been delicious. Not a issue yet. Okay. So you see, that's just the distress, uh, ink. Now I have this left on my brush and you can see, I'm just going to clean my brush off like this. Okay. So I don't know. It's not, it's a little see-through. That's all right. And then what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to take, where is it? What the heck is, oh, that's my tweezers. Um, what did I do with it? Yeah. 
I'm just going to take a brown um, Faber-Castell Pit Artist Pen. Use whatever you have. If you have a watercolor pen, if you have anything, use it. I'm going to dry this real quick. Now, right here you can see where the paper is, where I glued it down. What I like to do is take my texture paste and I will brush it on. And I'll show you, but I brush it on so this kind of becomes one piece and then the hair's texture. Um, so that's what I like to do. And I'm going to just go in and very quickly, nothing major, trace basically what I had. Already drawn. And of course, you don't have to do this. You can just straight up draw it. You can draw it with your pencil if you want. Like I said, sometimes it's easier just to draw it. And remember, our journal page, not a big deal, right? If it isn't uh, perfect or you don't trace it exactly like you had it, it doesn't matter. And that's how I'm going to know where my, like my face goes, right? So if I want to go over and then this is her neck and then her body, which I'm not going to worry too much about because I'm going to go in and show you the texture paste. Now, here's the thing. You see how I did this. Now I'm going to use white. Now wipe this off always with the tip because if you're using it with anything with wax, it's going to, it's going to do uh, weird things with it. All right. Texture paste. This is white texture paint because it's white, but I don't care because I color it. I use it and I'm going in with a dry paintbrush. And I'm just going to take some, but you can use your, anything you have, your, uh, palette knife, whatever. And you see what I'm doing? I'm just going to follow it. So you can go over it. There's no harm. Come on now. And you see how I'm just painting it on. Of course you could do thicker. I'll do the other side with the palette knife to show you. I'm just going over and if you go past the purple, so what? This is just adding texture. La, 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 la. Okay. And once you get it laid down where you, you got most of that texture paint, you can definitely go in with your, whatever this is called, palette knife. I think that's what it is. And lay down more for more texture and I'm just going to build it up that way. I'm not going too much because it's not a painting. Um, you know, it's my art journal page, but, and yes, you can get spackle. That's all this reminds me of is spackle. And that's the same with your molding paste or modeling paste. Use spackle or you can make it yourself. I have videos. I'll try to remember to link it at the end, but usually I'll use either. You can use plaster of Paris. You can use, um, why is that camera off? It's weird. Um, Emily said there was ghost in here last night that my son was playing tricks on her for her birthday because her and her boyfriend were sleeping in at three o'clock in the morning. The cat started going nuts and the door was not shut and just opened. And I don't know. I don't know how I feel about all that ghosts and stuff. They watch all those shows and I, I just don't believe in them. So who knows? Let me know down below what you guys think. You guys think that there's ghosts or if somebody that you love leaves, they come back or they can help you. You know what I mean? 
I'm interested in what you guys, and let me know if you watch all the ghost shows. Well, what do they watch? Ghost Adventures. Although I enjoy Ghost Adventures because I, I do enjoy looking at Zach Bagans, but I don't think that's a real reason to watch it. You know what I mean? Because I just don't believe. And he's very dramatic, Zach Bagans, let's face it. But I used to watch, I love the little boy from Paranormal State, that Ryan Buell, who just kind of had some issues recently. All right, I'm going to put this over here. Um, I do enjoy him. I'm oh, sorry, my phone went off. But, uh, you know, the ghost stuff I don't. But we used to watch it. Now I don't watch him. All right, so you can see I put a lot on this side. And that's all right. Because I can just lift it off and put it back in my container. And I'm not coloring this right now. I'm leaving it like this color mixing with the purple because when it's dry i can just go in again and add we'll see what this distressed uh, crayons does on top now remember these are just stressed crayons these are not your normal you know they're supposed to look a little bit distressed right obviously the name but i like pushing products till i wish plaid had some of these water soluble crayons although they do have the water uh, color acrylics, which I know is kind of an oxymoron, but those are pretty cool. All right. Okay, so you can see really how much texture I have on this side. Let me lift it up so you can really see. So you can really go thick or not, you know. Let's scrape that off. Do you see? I'm exhausted today. I'm so sorry. I'm not going to take my needle later. I'm not looking forward to that because that will make me sick, but I'm like going to play here and okay, so this is thicker. So then what you would do, I'm sorry, I'm in my own world. I'm just enjoying doing the art. Sorry. And I'm doing this for Christopher um, to show him something, but you see how I'm going over where that head part was. So that bump is not there. And that is my trick. Okay. So I'm just going to smooth it up a little bit. And then what I'm going to do, and if there's extra here, you know, you can pull it off, add it somewhere else. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this tool. Now you can use, if you have, let's say a tweet, make sure you put this in water so it doesn't get hard because that's something you don't want to get hard. Uh huh. So that's what she said. Uh, you could take tweezers. You could take the edge of this and all you do is say, okay, I know this is where my part is, right? And you can just kind of drag it through. It's going to give you a little hairline, like little individual kind of things. You can use this on her eyebrows as well. And this is just a little trick. If you're doing a realistic portrait, you know, you want to be a little bit lighter with it, if that's what you're kind of going for. But, you know, I'm doing this, so I want to kind of show you. And you can see it kind of rolls up a little bit. Just go touch it and then pull it off and wipe off your thing and touch it and kind of roll it down. As it dries, you can definitely pick it off as well if you're a picker. And that's all I'm going to do. Then I'm going to dry it real quick. Put this so it doesn't get icky. Let's put this. I love this stuff. Oh, I love it. And then I'll show you how cool the texture looks and then we'll cover it. Yes, so then we went yesterday to Olive Garden, we got our meals, and then we went to my sister's for cake for Emily and my nephew, you know, I just love my nephew, and we all love him. It was so much fun, and Emily's boyfriend, I mean, he was crawling all over him, and my nephew's going to be five in a couple weeks already. Oh, so fast, it grows so fast. What I like to do when I have this, even with paint, you know, you can dry the underside too because sometimes it gets dry on top and then not fully underneath. So I like to just go underneath a little bit. Nothing major. And it dries fast. It's not that bad. Obviously, the thicker it is, the longer it takes to dry.
But what I'm going to do is leave that be for a second. And I'm just going to take some, let's see, what color eyes? I'm going to go for blue eyes. Behind blue eyes. That's probably what this will be. I'm just coloring them in. You can, of course, paint them. I'm not going to go that far because I really just want you guys to see the texture paint and adding it to a background, anything you have. So if you just have like making backgrounds, right, which I love making backgrounds, you can definitely just make a bunch of backgrounds in your art journal and, you know, then go and add what you like, what you, what you, what you, what you want. Okay. I'm just using pink. Like I said, use your Crayola markers or uh, what are they call crayons, whatever you got paint. It doesn't matter. You don't think too much about it because we're just playing. We're not trying to win a trophy here. You know what I'm saying? Are you picking up what I'm putting down? Tell me. All right. I'm just going to leave all that dry for a second while I casually look for my black marker, but I don't see it. When I start cleaning things up, things get worse in my room. Mm, it's not there, not there. Mm -mm -mm. So yeah, can't find my black marker. All right, I'll just have to get it out of here then. Oh, Kelly, 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 Kelly. Color is black, okay. So then I'm going to go in with my black marker. This isn't the one I was looking for. And I'm just going to start in the middle. And do her pupils. And she looks a bit scared. So once that's drawn, once that's dry, I'm going to draw on some eyelids. Let's do this real quick. Now these are great because these can be moved while they're wet and I'll show you. These are permanent. Let me just do this a little bit more. So if I use this, let me just put that there. If I'm like, oh, okay, I want to do something and I have, I'm using, you know, gesso or whatever, I'm going to take some water. No, it's not going to do it there because it's soaking in that paper. Crap, Cal. I need gesso. I need something gesso. I don't know if I have anything gessoed in here. Yeah. Because it ain't working on regular paper. What do I have? I don't have anything gessoed. Huh. That's neat. That's crazy. No, that's the paper. Let's try it here. Let's see if this will work. And then take your water. Yeah, there you go. You, you want to have something down to uh, make it run. Yeah, see how that soaks into the water, but on here, because it's like glossy or it's gessoed, it runs still over here. Yeah. See how you can make it into like a watercolor? So think about that if you want it to be gloss. It's not going to work on regular paper, but it's going to work on your glossy uh, or fixed paper in a sense. Okay. That feels dry. So then I'm going to take this because I'm going to stick with this color and I'm going to lay it on here. You can see all that texture, and I'm okay because we're gonna wipe this. And I don't want it soaking wet. I just want it damp, and look what happens. Look at that. Going over that texture. And if you feel you need more water, just dip in. Start where you haven't 
diluted it yet. Do you know what I mean? And then go back if you want to. And I'm just going back and forth. Come on, my computer's acting up. Come on, I hate screensavers. There we go. Are we still recording? Yeah, okay. I don't know what the heck it's doing. Either that or I get updates. I don't know how many updates they can send me to update, but it does. It's Monday. Mercury's in retrograde, they say, and it's the way it is. Okay, so you see. I mean, obviously, you see. I'm not going to sit and work too much, but you're not going to be able to see that bump that you had. So, you know, this is, like I said, water soluble and it's going to lift if I continue to put on it. But you see, and then you have this on here where you can kind of, you know, you want to add some of this color to pull from the hair. You can just kind of add it. I'm just dabbing, dabbing for Angie. I'm just going to lay some of that down. That's it. Okay. And you see that, you know, it does that. And now you can dry it. It's going to absorb in that texture paste, which is good. My uh, goddess, this is what I did for her hair. So you definitely can put it down and then paint. And you see that texture? Look at that. And I love it. I think it's, I love texture, texture. And then for her eyes, like I said, I'm just going to go in. And kind of deepen those eyes a bit with that eyelid. Give her a white kind of glint in her eye, you know, like some light is flashed in there catching her eye a little bit on her lips i just like to tap it a little bit you can a little bit on her nose wherever you want wherever you want it doesn't matter and that is what that's adding somebody or something that you drew to this is an art journal page you can do it on a canvas whatever you want and like I said, you get a lot of texture and you of course would paint a second coat or do whatever, you know, make it more, but yeah, I love that. I love that. I love that. I love when, if I do big hair, it does it. So very simple. That's it. Easy to do. And that's an idea. If you are having problems and you want to do a separate background and you want to glue something down, like I said, you can mask it very easily. This is very thick because that's how I, you know, wanted it for this video, but you can do it much thinner. You can do it very, you know, just very little bit, but it'll cover the hump of the paper that was on there. And it's not a lot. I mean, it's just teeny, teeny little raised, but if you don't want to uh, have it raised, there's a million different disguises and this would be one. So let me know what you guys think. I know I've been doing this for a long time, you know, adding like that, but let me know. Let me know, let me know, and let me know down below you believe in ghosts and if you've ever had an experience. I'd love to know what you guys think. And as always, please be kind to each other. You never know what battle somebody else is fighting. Thank you for taking the time out of your day to sit and watch one of my videos. <laughs> Sometimes I don't understand why. But progress, not perfection. Anything else you guys want to see, let me know. I know somebody asked for me to do Stabilos. Uh, somebody has asked for me to do Pen Pastels. Somebody has asked for me to put everything in a... A video in a mixed media piece. I got a lot of stuff to do. So keep asking me, keep requesting, and I will continue to do it. Love you guys so very much, and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.